What up, what up, what up, people? Uh, we're back again. Welcome to Back Again, episode number 101. Just a quick shout out to everybody that came uh, for the 100th episode. Check it out. It's, a, it's out on the YouTube page on Troops TV. But this is episode number 101 of Back Again. We're back in the studio. The whole gang is here, as you can see. Troops is back in the building, back in the Barstool office. My man Goonie too is here. We're all here. Jet ski, Josh. We're doing it. How we how we doing, fellas? No, I never. Troops is thirsty. Huh? Oh, He's looking for his I water. I said bottle. it was calm. This guy's <laughs> fried, blood. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what Josh just happened. Josh is fried, blood. I don't you know understand. What I don't know what just happened with, with, with Josh over it here. It doesn't take long to get fried on this podcast, does yeah, right? it? Literally, <laughs> he couldn't even introduce himself. I had to go straight to frying Josh. Uh, but blood. I thought Josh uh, Josh, look, I'm all I can't even hear myself as well, blood. Are you coming through crystal clear? Am I coming through? Yeah, you're fine. Right. Coming through. Am I coming through? So yep. there's, uh, turn the, th- the knob next to your headphones. Um, actually, Pause. Oh, no, it's okay. Wait, oh. Is that better? Is that better? Right, yeah, yeah. Back. All right, here we go. We're back again. There it is. Yes, in me. Episode 101, blood. Big up everyone that rolled through to 100. Big up everyone that's listened or watched. Back again with troops. You get me? Come a long way, blood. Yeah. You understand? We're at the episode. table. With certain man, we're in talks with certain man. We can't really talk about who we're in talks with. I lie, Jetski. But boy. You gotta keep it under wraps for a little bit. If it went through, blood, Lord of his mercy is all I will say, blood. You understand? But yeah, man, good to be back. You understand? Second one, preview time slash review with all the Champions League and that. Don't really care about Champions League because man ain't involved, <laughs> blood. You understand? Mr. Baldy Locks over there on but the corner. He's loving it, mate. It's, it's, a, it's a me problem yeah. that I'm happy to have. It's unfortunate, but we, we do have to start right there because that was a football that was going on. Uh, there was uh, some Champions League games uh, going on this week, uh, midweek, Tuesday. We touched on the ones that happened Tuesday on the episode 100 that we did live, so go check that out. Just going to go through the Wednesday games. Uh, did you guys get to see any of these Wednesday games? I was watching the, the PSG, the PSG and Leipzig game. And that was pretty That was pretty entertaining. That ended up as 2-2. Did you guys catch any? any we one watched one? the Liverpool game yesterday. Oh, yeah, so, so, let's, yeah, because, so let's, yeah. Talk, let's start with that because I watched those Goonie two. finally. Oh, I don't know. What the fuck is going on, blood? So, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> days. What is going on, people? Wait. It's like been a minute, blood. Jetski, we're not cutting none of this yeah, as well, yeah, blood. Yeah. Is gone. Whoever can't, whoever's listening, I'm having problems in the studio, blood. It's that one. Yeah, my yeah. mic has gone for its own. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate that, my brother. You understand? Please, thank you. Of course, you want one. Should be good now, Mister Pub. Of course, you understand? Fucking course, mate. You know what I mean? All He's that. the gazer on all the. Fu- that, all of that. He's the gazer on the fucking show, mate. Do you yeah? know what I mean? Have some of that, mate. Course yeah. Fucking, fucking bananas you know I mean? and pears, son. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. But um, Liverpool, 2-0 uh, to Atletico. Uh, Boy, two nil goals from Yorta. Nice header from Yorta and a tap-in from Mane. Mm. They finished 2-0. There was a controversial red card, if you ask me. But, yeah, what, what, what did you think about that game, Troops? Big up Goonie, first, firstly, because he actually, I mean, he, 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 he put the fear aside. And he, he came over the bridge, blood. He came to Jersey. Man, he came over to too Harrison. Too you know what I'm saying? Came over to... Chill with the kid, pause. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I know man can come over and I'm my thing and chill. You understand? We have my woman and, you know, say my thing strong. But, yeah, it was an enjoyable game. You understand? Yep, um, I think Liverpool played quite well, blood. Mm-hmm. You understand? I think Atletico were poor. Um, they looked ropey again. But we saw that in the first in the first game. And I thought, <coughs> even when they went 2-0 down, they could have... Come back, yeah, but that's then what, that Suarez that's disallowed. Yeah, the Suarez disallowed goal, um, rightly yeah, so, offside. Yeah. yeah. But um, the Yota goal as well, he was offside, yeah. uh, rightly so. But the sending off killed the game. Yeah. What do you what What did you think of that? Gosh. For me, I think it is a red because I said to Goonie, what did I say? To, what? He never got descent. He got sent off for the stri- for stepping stepping on the back of his foot. Yeah, but that was that was be- that was before the halfway line. You're sending him off for that. That's what. That, no, that's but exactly look at what the, I said. No, but look, it's not look at the challenge, blood. Do you understand the whole game? What was I saying to you before he got rasped? Yeah, they've been targeted, money. They were targeted in blood. There was numerous occasions. That time, when, remember when he was down and the ref was like, "Get up!" Yeah, and, and Coke came, hurt. Yeah. done him. Yeah, yeah, it was actually hurt. It's like Simeone said, "Attack Mane, blood." 
You understand? And that challenge for me was a red blood. You can't be stepping on you can't be stepping on a man's Achilles like that, blood. You understand? I popped my Achilles, bro. So I know how that felt, blood. Mm. Do you understand? And for me, for me it was a red still. So what what pissed me off is it looked like the ref was not gonna give a red initially. It looked like the ref had brought out his his, his, his cards to whip out a yellow. He had but both. Because he had both. Because remember, every time he had his cards out, the red was there. Yeah. Remember Goonie, we were like, what's he giving him? A red or a yellow? Yeah, because we yeah, didn't know. That's true, that's true. He, was, he, he had both of them. I, I but he went I, straight red. Because he walked up to me. He's like, yeah. Where you? he was saying to him, come here, where he you going? Coming. So that's that's what I thought triggered him to go off and change No, but I think because he went off. I, I think, I don't know, man. What do you think, Goonie, bro? Because the way I see it. Honestly, like my, my view on this is this, yeah. It's like, to me, it looked like he swept the back of his legs and it was a professional foul. And that's something that... A lot of players get plays, praised for doing. You yep. take the yellow, you break up the counter attack, you eliminate the threat. Yeah, exactly. That's what it appeared to be to me. But you'll say if he stepped on his Achilles, uh, if, on his Achilles, then I don't even know if that's still a red because again, Zara's saying, and from what I saw, he was in his own half. So what if he stepped on his front here? Yeah, no, the Achilles is on his back. If he stepped on his front, uh -huh. man would be screaming red. So what's the difference of him doing it on his Achilles? Is my point. Do you understand? Because if he came in like that with his foot over the ball and he just hit him above his above his boot, but isn't that's it, a red. Isn't it above so, the ankle if it's red for a red though? Bro, he's gone in like he's stamped him. He's gone in with intent. It's not like oh he's mistimed it and he's he's gone in with intent. You understand? So for me, it's a red blood. Yeah. I think it's, da it's dangerous ground because now you're gonna have to cancel out the professional fouls in the game. You see what I mean? Yeah, like, I, I now, but what is a professional foul and what is a dirty foul? That was a dirty foul. That went a, a professional foul was what Guendouzi did to fucking Zaha when he was running off in his in, his, in our half and he dragged him. Just down, yeah. That is yeah. a professional foul. What what my, what um that Edia Evans did to Abba on halfway? That's a professional that's foul. Mm -hmm. That is a dirty foul, blood. Do you understand? Yeah, in my know. opinion. I'd have to I'd have to see it again. I I thought I thought it was more of a professional foul that turned nasty because because the guy wouldn't come back and and all that. But overall, that was a that was a pretty pretty entertaining game that that Liverpool one. Did you guys get to see any other ones, or should we just run through the results? Do you know what? I didn't even because I'm still waiting for my fucking Wi-Fi. Yeah, you have no Wi-Fi, and it's, all. it's, it's a paper. one game thing, isn't it? So I literally <laughs> watched the fucking Liverpool game. I ain't seen no highlights. I'll be real with the people. Um, I saw the Benfica buying game. Shout out Nabri. That was a yeah, lovely, lovely finish. Goal from Nabry. You get me lovely back heel. Um, would love to see him back at Arsenal. Contracts running out. That was that was with the people. We watched that with the people at, uh, at Jack Doyle. Yeah, because it's before. Yep. You yeah, get me. He had a good... Nabri had a good game. Saw the Real Madrid game. Who's, wait, my who scored? Wait, 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 wait. Who scored? My guy, who, Benzie. Who scored the other three goals? My guy, Who scored the other three goals? My guy, Benzie. You can't miss the hat trick, bro. That's why. Jetski took the... Jetski, Jetski. Jetski took his fucking... We just blew it up. Jetski took his shit off. This guy, this guy. Look at this guy. What? Ignoring the little... Benzie. Yeah? Benzie. Now, big up Dowski, blood. You get me? Like, Lewandowski. You understand? It is what it is. But don't forget about Benzie, innit? No, nah, that nah, was yeah? forgotten. Don't forget about Benzie, innit? Bella, the unforgotten. Bella, the unforgot he's always unforgotten. That's what I'm saying. Man, man is sucking off fucking Lewandowski. Pause. Let, let me ask Weed. you this. Honest answer. You're going to make me talk yardy again, you know? Watch him again now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you guys. Honest wait, answer. Bella now up to some boy, you know? Who's, who's leading the Ballon d'Or race between them two? Yeah, Salah's ahead of both of them, if we're being honest. Ooh. You get me? Mohammed. Salah's kind of quiet. His last two games have been kind of quiet, Mohammed. if we're being real, because the way he's been moving, you get me? He ain't really. He's allowed, though. But he's, I don't know, man. He's playing in a more difficult league. I'm a big Benzie guy. You know me. I've been trying to hold it up, blood. But that 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 um, United away, what, uh, what he did there, and you get me? What he did the previous week yeah. at Watford, I was like, bro, this is, this is, nah, you know what? Yeah, we're going to have to. Lewandowski, yeah, Lewandowski is very close. I though, think Lewandowski bro. will get Lewandowski it though. Lewandowski is very close. I think he'll get it though. I think Levin, like, I think Salah should get it now. If I'm being totally honest, but I think Lewandowski will win it because I you can't give it to this, Ronaldo this, this or year Messi or the, or the following year. Nah, this year. Boy, I think Lewandowski's getting it because, yeah, brother. Because now you can't give it to Ronaldo or Messi. They can't make Lewandowski miss it and give it to Salah because next year Lewandowski won't get it. There's a possibility Salah could get it next year. 
and there's also that whole thing that it's a Euros year too, so you got to look at the Italian squad, maybe. So I mean, maybe out of that. Who, yeah, whether, whether, so whether so whether Listen. they de- whether they deserve nah, I'm not it hearing or not. None of that I would, I'd, I'd go for Kante over here. Exactly. I'd, I'd, you have I'd a Chelsea man. I'd 100% go for Kante over him in terms of the who deserves it. Because listen, I respect what Jorginho done for Italy. You can't you can't wipe that out. But when you just look at the consistency of N'Golo Kante over the years, and even in the Champions League, throughout the whole, like, the important stages of the game, he was man of the match in every single one of them. Facts. You know what I mean? And he just goes on about his business quietly, and he never... Was really Jorginho man of the match in the Euro final? Don't think he was. <laughs> so that, so. But, but I'm that's, just asking, but I, so I'm sure he wasn't. That's Let me, me check right now in case these... Jorginho fans oh. try to come for me, blood. Nah, Jorginho me... done his thing. He done his thing last, uh, this season. Sorry, last season, sorry. Euro. He done his thing, blood. So I can't really disrespect him. But personally, if you're up to man me, it'd be Kante. It'd have to be Kante. Bonucci. Leonardo Bonucci, Bonucci was, was the man, man of the match, yeah? Who was man of the match in Champions League final? Igolo, I believe. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, yeah. Because he got yeah, he got four in a row. How could I fucking forget? Come on. Champions League final, man of the match. It was definitely Ingolo, he got It was Golo Kante. In- yeah. No? Right. Yeah, it was. N'Golo Kante. Why did I put 2021? Because I saw Kingsley Coleman. I said, excuse me, who? You're Bayern Munich, dog. <laughs> He's another one. Yeah, moving, N'Golo dog. Kante. So please tell me why. Jorginho, what, what? Because the two he missed his missed. penalty in the final. That's all That's all forgot. He missed his penalty, which took it to Saka, where Saka had to score. Then it would have gone to sudden death. Do you understand? N'Golo, yeah, he got caught... Got, got, um, not out of the quarterfinal with uh, France, but he won the Champions League. He was man of the match in the Champions League final. This is about what you've done in Europe. Semi-finals, quarterfinals. And then Do you understand? Before that, then the final. What did you do? Get out of here, man. No, no. That's, I mean, you're right. Merit-wise, merit whether he deserves it or not, but you got to look at the way the way they usually voted. Yeah, he, that's exactly what I was going to come is to why, say. And which he's is got why the silverware Jorginho, on his side. No, has all the two Jorginho major has trophies. is the one Euros on He it. has the two major trophies. He's got everything. He has the Champions League and, and, the, and the Euros. And that's, that's it. That's all it takes to win that, the, the Ballon d'Or. That's why he's going to probably be that's a hot favorite all it to takes win it. to win the Ballon d'Or. Nah, he ain't winning it. We'll see. <laughs> in yeah, the comments, in the comments, people type in, type in yeah, who you think, know. who you think is is your Ballon d'Or person in the comments right there. Just gonna, just gonna flick through the results from Wednesday in the Champions League. Uh, Milan. I saw the Man United game. Uh, oh, you want to talk? You want to talk about that Fucking one? Fucking reminded. Bro, we have to talk about that, bro. That Tuesday, we'll talk about it again. I think we t- we talked about it already. On oh yeah, we'll talk about it again. Let's talk about it again. <laughs> United Atlanta two two. Bro, Ole just saved again. Saved again. How Squid game times? settings, blood. He just got him. We were this, How close, many we, we were this close to seeing red light, them man go to the light. Europa. You know what we're leaving the scene like? Times. Red light, green light. You know what we're leaving the scene like? Oy. But you know what? Us all... He had Digger's tune. Uh, well, he's, he's new thing. Yeah, the red light, no, green light. When he dresses yet. up as the uh, front the, man. The, the thing, okay. And his whole video is on Squid Game. It's a mad thing, blood. Do you know what? Yeah, jet ski. I'm not even going to risk it. Yeah. Don't <laughs> risk it. Don't risk it. That man now. Yeah, 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 he's, 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 he's trying to get the channel. Blood. It might not even be the, the channel it taken down. The labels that are I just wanted a quick red light, green light, yeah, and then cut blood, but I'm not even risking it, blood. <laughs> Do you understand? That's a banger, though. I'm not going to lie. But uh, for us, Ole Ins, that, that, that. Ole uh, in all day, bro, that, that, because that result was a all the Ole outs were there. Z- uh, Rance was getting his cigar ready again. <laughs> you understand? Had his feet up, ready. on that Ole pack. You get me? And then Ronaldo just done Squid Game settings, blood. He thought he was out, doing up Cameron, down and out, Kanye on the buttons. Ooh, ooh baby, baby. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And he just got him. Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, he's just holding him. Like, he's just fucking. I don't know. Bro, Ronaldo, yeah? Don't ever lose grip on Ole, blood. Yeah? Pause. Because we love it over Yasser. Yeah? As long as he's manager. We have a ten percent chance of getting Champions League. How, how long do you think Cristiano can can uh, can carry Ole? Can until he do it all he, season? Until he retires, bro. bro. You think so? He, that bro. You machine. look at the goals he scored. Yeah, they were both out of nothing, blood. So if the ball drops to him around the eighteen yard box, nine times out of ten, it's a goal. Let alone nine times out of ten, it's on target. Nine times out of ten, it's a goal, blood. Do you understand? Like, I think Ronaldo's showing now that he is better than Messi, blood. I don't care, bro. At that it's age, it's not even been announcing for bro, a while. For I me. think now I've always been Ronaldo, yeah. Pause. As the goat, 
of this generation, yeah? But now I think we're seeing it, blood. Because he's 36, yeah? In the Premier League, yeah? The intensity of this league. He's doing it in the Champions League as well, blood. Yeah? Juan It's flopping in, in, in France. Flop, flopping What's going on with... He France, got put... Saliba had him in his pocket <laughs> in Liga. Then they went in fucking Champions League. Yeah? They played fucking... Who did they play again, uh, Leipzig. They played Leipzig. Leipzig. He, he didn't play. And he didn't play. He didn't play. But uh, did he, did he, he play know. against Angers? And I swear they put him I in don't his know. pocket as well. Oh, it is he part. played the previous round, I believe. I don't know if he played against Angers. Not but missed. I know when he played against uh, Saliba, Saliba bodied him. All I'm saying is, is, is Lionel Messi, I don't know how many games like, that they've Don't played. get it twisted before the Messi man try to come at me. Messi's a bad yeah. boy, Yeah. And Messi is a don in any generation as well. So you put him in any generation, he's one of the best players. And he is one of the best of all time. But CR7 is just ahead of you, bro. Do you know who just shot us in the foot? Messi. He just fucking scored twice. Yeah, just to, just to clarify. Hey, so wait, hold on. Not not this past, so it was, a, it was a previous match day. This last match day, he did not play. But they played Leipzig back to back. And they won They won the previous one, 3-2. Yeah, and one. then this one, 3-2. That's, that's where he scored the two goals. So what, was he injured? I am not too sure, but I, I he remember in the squad. I was watching that and he wasn't playing. I'd watch that because I thought he was going to be playing. He weren't he, in the squad. He weren't on the bench neither, blood. He weren't in the squad. Yeah, it was Di Maria that was that was, uh, that was balling. But back. I just, like I said, blood, I think Ronaldo's just showing that he's the GOAT. Blood, no, he yeah. certainly is. He certainly is. But uh, that Atlanta, Atlanta, a Man United game, uh, that one finished 2-2. Ronaldo just saving, just saving the day as always. Just to run through the rest of them results. Milan 1-1 with Porto. That was at the San Siro. Real Madrid, they won 2-1 against Shakhtar Donetsk. Lucky. Troops is guy. They got lucky. Troops is... Oh, really? Yeah, Talk Shakhtar us. were on them like flies on shit, blood. On them. You understand? Hit the post. Couple good saves from Courtois. They was unlucky to lose. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't catch that one. Uh, Man City four one against Club Bruges, Leipzig and Paris and PSG. They drew two two. Liverpool beat uh, Atletico two nil. Sporting beat Besiktas four nil. Dortmund uh, uh, lost to Ajax three mm. one. There was another shady red card. Did that you see the red the card in that one? Worst red card he, decision he I've seen yeah, for a while. That was ridiculous. Him. The sliding, the sliding thing where the guy ran into him in the box and, and that shouldn't. I, I can't believe VAR didn't even yeah. overturn that one. It's it's crazy. It that one's what that that's what you say was a suspect red card, not the money. That, that was that actually one, a was one way you say as well. That what was the a fuck? quality tackle from Hamas. Yeah, I couldn't believe. Literally hooked his because I kept seeing it and I was like, kept the ball in play. Like, what did he do? He didn't even do nothing, blood. Nah, that one, that one was, that one was insane. That was a clean ass tackle, mate. And then uh, Sheriff and Inter rounded the rounded the match day off. Inter won that away three one at oh. Sheriff. What does and that mean? Sheriff have gone out. Uh, nah. I think that group is still pretty open. You know that group because Sheriff yeah, didn't Sheriff beat those. Sheriff beat Madrid. Yeah, I want them to go through, blood. After the way they started, that they was at top of their table and that. I want them to. So carry Sheriff are third yeah, and they, they got six, six points. points. Inter got seven. So going into match day five. That could Sheriff, be. Inter, or Madrid could go through. Yeah. Because Madrid's only on nine. Mm -hmm. Inter's on seven. Sheriff got six. six. You get me? So that group's free. And they've got to go to Sheriff because Sheriff beat Madrid in... In Madrid. Sheriff Madrid. beat Madrid in Madrid. So they that, have to go to go Sheriff, hey, bro. That goal. Mad. My goodness me. Yeah. You that understand? Is, that is... That so is. Sheriff still have a good chance. Uh, blood, if they were to drop down to Europa, you could give them a, a big, big shout to win. Sheriff? Yep. You reckon? Big shout to win it. You don't we think that see was a one-off one one off situation with the with the with the Madrid? Uh, nah, bro. They got look, love. They got look, they got six points, mate. True. Yeah, true. You understand? True. But that was the that was the midweek Champions League action uh, that is uh, that, that happened this past this past match day. Uh, yeah. So on to the next. Uh, we had one of my favorite Arsenal Academy players come on and join us as a guest. Troops' guy. NYCFC, NYCFC superstar, former Gunners Academy superstar, well, Academy that is, Gideon Zellerlem. He came in and he talked to us. It was a great conversation. Nice, nice guy. Seemed chilled. Is there anything you want to add to that uh, that little intro that I touch on? Big up my brother, blood. You understand? Here it is for your clock now, blood. Man like Geds, you know. What's up, bro? Welcome you? on, my you, brother. You. you understand? You, this is you. a well, man, all rust off the mic, blood. You understand? <laughs> this, this one, yeah. 
You understand? This one was long overdue, blood. You get me? Like, we was like, even Jetski, he was like, yo, let's do it on Zoom. I said, nah, bro, we, we have to do this one in the studio, blood. You get me? This is a former Arsenal player. You understand? It's, it's a mad thing to even have a former Arsenal player on the thing. You understand? Because they don't like troops, blood. It's only Obama Yang, Laka, couple man. You get me? There's certain man he played with, they don't like me, blood. You understand? He, he might get an unfollow when, when this drops. <laughs> you get me? <laughs> but we, we have to be got kids every time, blood. You get me? How you feeling, my bro? I'm good, bro, man. I'm happy to be here. Good talking to you again. So. Nah, man. It's, you get me? We're, we're very um, honored to have you on the show. This yeah. one's special. Thank you. Thank you. Too. Yeah. I was telling I you. Mean, I mean, I watch you guys sometimes, so. That's what I'm saying. To be here, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. It's also. like when I came in, Zar, like, I didn't even tell him, innit? And then I think he only found out, like, yeah, so maybe I've, 20 I've, minutes ago, his real. Oh, and yeah. I come in, bro. <laughs> man was. I found out. I found out like 15 minutes before you no showed way. up that you're coming in. I had no idea. Then I mean, you. Did you, you know someone was coming in, or so I someone came up to me and asked me what the brook, what the booking for troops was, and yeah. I had no idea what the booking for troops. They asked me for the details about whether it's over Zoom or stuff like that. So I, I the only thing I knew was we're doing a podcast later. Yeah. On today. So okay. Okay. Like, what, okay. What are you talking about? That's cool. Then when he pulled up, he he confirmed it. Yeah. You get me, because even when. When I was at the crib, because before I moved to flipping Jersey, I was at the crib, and then we go to this, we go, we go to the same restaurant, innit? I'm not going to say anything, because I remember I tried bam dudes with the team, blood. Get him, can't even go there no more, you get me? So we're going to keep the team quiet, blood. But we go to, like, the same restaurant, and we call the manager. And the manager's rang me, he's like, yo, where are you? Are you local? I said, yeah, I'm local. He's like, yo, Gideon's here. I said, Gideon? What do you mean? I said, like, there's only one Gideon I know, blood, you understand? He's like, yo, he's here, like, saying, yo, it's, it's Troops Local, pull up, like, like, I said, raw. So man went there. And then, like, it was just instant blood. You get me? Yeah. Like, he was he was in London for a long time. You understand? So, he's used to being around the slang and yeah, rare tech. Yeah. So it was it, it was a normal thing. And then from then, I said, Joe, I want to get you on the show to talk about your time at Arsenal, your your time as a footballer, to, like to where you got now in it. Mm. Because a lot of people don't even know that. I don't even know if a lot of people know this, but I, I was shocked as well that you was born in uh, Berlin, uh, Germany. Yeah. Yeah, I was born in Berlin. Um, picked up soccer pretty early there. So, um, yeah, I just played for Hertha Berlin since under 8s to under 11s. Um, you know, that was my first love back then. So, yeah, then moved to America. Played in America for five years, high school soccer, uh, club soccer. Um, then, yeah, man, and then Danny Carbessian. I don't know if you heard of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah one of the scouts. Field, yeah. yeah, one of the yeah, scouts. Um Saw me play at the Dallas Cup, and then from then on, I went on trial, and then um, yeah, man, the rest rest is history. I went to Arsenal. Uh, six years there. Uh, first four years were amazing. Um, you know, Wenger put me into preseason so early on, sixteen. Um, played uh, played the Carlin Cup. I don't know what it was called back then. Um, yeah, I think them time there was the Carlin Cup. Carlin, Carlin Cup or I think Carlin Cup. I don't know something. Like yeah, that. I think it was Carlin. I think it was Carlin. Yeah. Them time. Um, so yeah, man, it was just a dream come true. Yeah, it was crazy. So like, who was your team in Germany? Because obviously you played for Hertha Berlin, but then no disrespect to them, they ain't like one of the big teams, <laughs> innit? Was you like a Dortmund? Was you a Bayern kid? Nah, I was Hertha Berlin. It was Hertha. That, Berlin? that was my dream to play for Hertha Berlin. Is it? Up. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Who was so? Who was your like your, your favorite player from that team growing up as a kid? Uh, I don't know if you know him, but Marcelinho, Brazilian I've, yeah, I've number ten. Yeah, I've heard of him. Baller. Yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So so. So good. is that who you um, styled your game off? Should we say? Uh, nah, I think I start my game off like. Cause I, I for me, I say Cess. I say you're close to playing. Like I say you're like a Cess. I heard a little bit of that when I was at Arsenal, but like who I really watched like during those 14, 15, 16 years, year old years were um, Iniesta and Xavi. I think I like obsessively watched them on YouTube. Like every move they made, every pass, decision making. Um, and like to this day, like when I'm like not doing anything, I'll just go on YouTube and watch. Iniesta touches like every single touch he does, and then yeah, just trying to get better and better all the time. So what was it like when you got that call from Arsenal, saying that yo, we want you to come over to do uh, do it because it was first you joined how, training how, camp. How, how long was that process too, from when uh, he finds you to 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 when they they finally picked you up? Honestly, like after the second session, I think Liam Brady at the time was the academy director, mm -hmm. and like they wanted to sign me right away. Um, so. A lot of people don't know this, actually. I was actually going to go to Spain for a team called Sporting Gijon. Yeah, I know Sporting Gijon. They yeah. wear red and white. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I know them, man. Like, I don't think anyone knows this, but I was supposed to go there. So I went on trial to Arsenal, 
already knowing I'm going there. Oh. So I just went, I'm going to just see how, how good I really am, this and that. Yeah. And, like, my dad wanted me to go there. Like, even after I did my trial, and I was, like, I was just watching, like, going to London Colony and just, I couldn't imagine, like, people come here every day tr just to train and, like, seeing all the first team players. So, like, I mean, my mind was made, like, after the third day, I wanted to sign for Arsenal. And, I mean, I'm glad I did at the end. So who was in your group? Um, like my Moore. yeah, Tafari Moore, Maitland Niles. Yeah, Ainsley in it. Yeah, I went up a, a, a couple of years early, so like the first guys I played with were like Serge Gnabry. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, like Hector Bellerin and uh, those men. Um, so yeah. So how like, was Hector as a kid? He was good. I mean, they're all they're all good kids. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Don't mind I'm me. asking a serious question <laughs> because me. for me, yeah. <laughs> Bellerin, Here as we a go. no 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 no, <laughs> for me Bellerin as a youngster, yeah, he was dynamite. Yeah. When he came into that team, he had so much pace. Was he was strong. He had no fear, blood. He had M product. He had everything. He could score a goal. He could. He had a lot, blood. You understand? The injuries were slowing him down. Was he always that explosive as a youngster? Yeah, he was really fast, like all the time. Like since since I got there, he's so. the quickest one, isn't it? Yeah, for me, he's, he he's probably it. one of the quickest players I've played with, for sure. Was it hard to get past him? Where did, we, where did he play as a youngster? I, mean, I, I swear never, he played more forward. I or, think or, I, he went around when like. he was at Barcelona, I think he said he used to play as a right winger. Yeah. And then when he got to Arsenal, I think like within the first preseason, they put him as right back. Mm. And then ever since then, he he was playing as right back. So, yeah. Because now that you said Serge, it was you and Serge still, Bacar. He came through 2014. Yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I remember the Swansea game. He lit it up yes. away from home. He did a yeah, madness, yeah. blood. I think Ramsey assisted. Yes, yeah, blood. Yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah. And then you came through that summer, and yeah. I remember you came on against. I think it was Galatasaray. Right? Yeah. Because that was the game where Ramsey scored the mad goal, innit? Yeah. What was it like watching it from like the bench? Cause I was, I was even, I was even at the ground. I watched that one off TV. I never had the privilege to go to that game. Like the, because man say that goal is up there with like. The only goal I say better than that in the Champions League is the Zidane goal because it's the final. It's on his left foot. Even the ball from Carlos wasn't a good ball. Zidane had to kind of... I think, I think that could be like the best Champions League goal if it was in the final. Yeah. Like that. The techers on that. Like I just remember watching everyone on the bench. Did you like, think it was going to hit it? Why was you not on the I bench? Don't, we, were just, we were just shocked. Yeah. Like, what, like what just happened? It came out of nowhere. Like the bounce on it and everything was just... I mean, I, I, that goal was proper. Who was the best player at Arsenal? Because you played, you, you trained with some ballers, blood. Yeah. You understand? So that would have helped your game as well because the likes of Santi, Ozil, Ramsey, Wilshire was there. You understand? Alexis. For he's, me, he's man. He's the one that put me on you. When Jack when Jack came out and he said that, there's this kid named Gideon. Yeah, yeah you yeah, remember? Yeah, it was yeah, Super Jack, kid blood. He, he was said, the one he that... Said, he said Somali kid, though. He's, yeah, he <laughs> did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot Let's get that in. <laughs> you understand? Because you're Ethiopian, no? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Um, best player Santi Cazola. He was yeah, pff, unbelievable. So so good. Like he's just so small and you can't touch him. Like he's so good. I think if he was like five eight, I think he'd be one of the best players in the world. Seriously, he was so good. Was you close with any of the senior players? Like, did any of them pull you to the side and say, "Yo, work on this on your game. Maybe try this." Yeah, da -da -da -da. like Paramatta Saka. Cause like well, I hadn't they decided. They say he is a. Yeah, I hadn't decided who I was gonna play for, either Germany or America. So, yeah, like he just. Well, you know, try to give it the nuts for yeah, Germany. Yeah, no, but yeah. <laughs> four, four nations you can pick from, right? Yeah, because yeah, Ethiopia, England, England, Ethiopia, Germany, two, two. England, and America. Yeah, well, not England, but I mean. Hadn't you done? But in your state, I, 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 I lived state. there more than five years, so yeah, technically, yeah, but yeah. 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 Um, yeah, Matt Saka, the, the, the original Germans, Podolski, you remember those? Like, yeah, yeah, of course, yes. Poldi, man. Poldi, um, Ozil, you know, those Stuffy. guys, like, that was like little German crew, like 2014, 2015 years, yeah. So what's your, so like, now you're at NYCFC, mm -hmm. you're back from injury. Yeah. What's the plan now? For me, it's just... Do you want to go back to Europe, or do you want to dominate over this side and build the game and make yourself I mean, a legend? first, for me, it's just getting consistent starts 90 minutes 90 minutes so like this off season is going to be really important for me to be fit uh to come into preseason flying and then hopefully have a full year of just starting every single game and then dominating and of course the the goal again is to go back to europe and play for one of the best teams so i think I, st I still have that belief that i can do that but f that the first step is um just getting game time again so because i 
I believe I have the talent. So now nah, you yeah. do, man. I mean, if you're getting signed at Arsenal at that young yeah. age, you understand? Like the likes of Wenger, how how, how is he really a father figure type guy? Did he like? Because to he, be honest, he, he had a there was a lot there. There was a lot of hope on you, and yeah. then it, what it was, it was the injuries, unfortunately, that kind of ruined it. Yeah. Did Wenger like always come to you and say like when when he, when he sold like Nabri? Did he come to you and say like yo, don't worry, I don't want to sell you, I want to kind of integrate you or to be honest he didn't speak to me that much i like he, the reason why i thought he had a lot of belief in me which he did is just putting me into i don't know playing the carbo cup at 16 like he wouldn't do that if he didn't think the coventry that. game you done really yeah, well in that game yeah, like, yeah 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 because when you come in it was two nil yeah, yeah then we yeah. won the game four i think or Something five like that. Yeah, 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 yeah yeah so yeah but like he like i remember coming back uh from preseason. i think i like i did really well like everyone was buzzing the first one in like Singapore, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, I think I've done well, but like I don't know because he's not saying nothing. So like he keeps his card close. Yeah. To his chest. So I'm like, I don't know, that. I don't know where I'm like, I don't know where I stand. And then at the end of one training session, like before the last game in preseason, you know, he just pulled me aside and said like, when we're back, you're gonna be with us, um, et cetera, et cetera. You're like, well done, keep going. And then I think I was on the bench like the first couple of games of the season. So yeah, man. Yeah. So, did you enjoy your time more at Rangers? Because you like Rangers, you done really well. Play you understand? We literally said, go, go out and do a job in it. Yeah. You went out and did a job, lad. Yeah. You understand? Goals, assists. You got you got him promoted. Yeah. You you was um I swear you come off the bench in the final. Mm. But uh, the one against Hibs, the, the, you know you no, started, started that, that one, game. but, but yeah, they lost yeah. in it three two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you scored a penny as well in the semi. I swear, I get Celtic, Celtic, blood. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. was that, fam? I, 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 let me just show you that I ain't got that up here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> show him, blood. I ain't got that, blood. My memory is. Yeah, no, you, you understand. Your game memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will tell you as well, blood. My game, game memory yeah. is. Yeah, this yeah, guy yeah. remembers games from like '98. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Bro, like, uh, like, yeah, like football is deep. Detail. Blood. Yeah, Pause. I mean, at Rangers, I like that's the first time I truly thought like, like a professional soccer, like soccer player. You know what I mean? Like I was starting week in week out. Though I it wasn't like. It's not like Arsenal, but you feel like you are like a, like a huge. Well, you are at a massive club, yeah. but yeah, because it's yeah, awesome. Rangers 50, is yeah, massive. like you, 50, you have fifty thousand every Iboxes, week, yeah. and yeah. that fan base is crazy. You understand? Mm -hmm. So like when you're living in Scotland, it's like you feel like you play at like Real Madrid or Barcelona. Yeah, That's yeah, how yeah. they treat you. So I felt like I don't know a little bit like I've made it. You know, this yeah. is this is what it feels like. So yeah, man, I enjoyed my time. Like it was it was a great it was a great year. Yeah. That's awesome. yeah. That's awesome. Question. So on on the injuries, because because you you uh, would talk to me about like the mental the mental aspect of it. How do you keep yourself going, man? Struggling through these injuries, you, you know, you're trying to fight your way back into the New York City the New York City fame and uh, uh, New York City uh, squad and all to get back. How, what, what's that mentality like mentally? Yeah, how, how, for, you, how you keep going? Yeah, for me, like it's just knowing how much I have to get, like I can give to the game. Uh -huh. So if I didn't think I was as talented as I am, I don't think, I don't know, maybe it'd be a bit different, yeah. but I just feel like I can really become a, like a really top player. So yeah. that's the thing that keeps me going. So, um, it must be, must yeah, be frustrating yeah it is very frustrating, especially time, seeing like all these players yeah, that I, doing I, well. I grew up playing grow with. Up, I'm like, yeah. damn, like, you know, yeah, it's, it's not easy, but I'm like, there's no, there's no like jealousy in my bone. Like at all. I'm like so happy for all those players that are doing well yeah, now. Yeah. So yeah, it's just like everyone has their time and I'm, I hope my time's coming. It's life, bro. It's life. It's on NYC, um, this Wednesday you have a really important day. When? This Wednesday. Last game of the season. It's on Sunday. Man. Is it Sunday? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Wednesday. Nah, bro, Sunday. I I watch too much football, blood. I, I get my days confused, <laughs> blood. So Sunday, you clinch the playoff. It's like you could clinch it, no? No, we've clinched it already. Yeah. So the on Sunday it's just about the seating part. So we want to finish in the top three, hopefully n number two. Um, so so yeah. could you could you explain that the seat because I'm still trying to learn yeah, yeah, MLS course. because yeah, yeah. MLS. You I am too to like, be honest, bro. <laughs> for me, like they have drafts. If, if you if you if you finish first, that's it. That's it's it, done. Right? There's no like okay now we have to go to this part and okay you won this one but then you lost that one. So because you lost that one, you're not really the winner of this one because you need to win that one. Yeah. Like you see how, bro? It's bro. It's like Snoop Dogg and Dre, blood. It's like this and like that, you watch, like you watch this center. <laughs> like it's like, you understand? You watch I'm, I'm, do you understand the NBA scene? Like how it works in the NBA? Yeah, I get the. Yeah, I kind of get the NBA. Oh, like. yeah. It's similar. Okay. So like, first seed gets a bye week. They play the seventh seed in the second round. We have to play the first round because we're not the first seed. 
So like the first four get a uh, a home playoff game, and that's huge in MLS. You want to play at home, so that's that's our goal to have our first game um, at home. So it's not yeah. It's not, so it's we, not series, right? Like, the, like no, the it's just just one game. It used to be serious, but not anymore. Um, so yeah, like, like the goal is to get a playoff game at home. Hopefully, win that and like yeah, win the whole thing. So make sure you pull up Yankee Stadium. Yeah, yeah for I, sure. I, I, yo, we're pulling up. Are we going so? Yeah, it should be. Because we got, be we got Arsenal now. in the morning, 9 o'clock. I should and then they now. kick off at half three. So, so probably yeah, yeah, easy. Jet ski. Four. Easy. Are we pulling up, blood? I'm down. All right. Zah? I should be. I should be able to, yeah. All right. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. All right. I need your support. Get the box ready. All right. Yeah. I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If, that, if that's the case, then I'm <laughs> definitely he can. Did you guys enjoy last time? I, I bro, you, guys uh, last was, time. you know what, yeah? It was awesome. It, it was, was, it was, was amazing, bro. Like, I never knew they had, like, courtside yeah. seats in yeah, MLS, yeah, yeah. like, the way they have it in NBA, bro. Like, yeah. sitting on the Mine was literally on Yankee pitch, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, brother. You could touch the linesman. It was yeah. mad. Like, I could slap Great. the linesman, blood. <laughs> yeah, they'd never do that in Premier League, blood. Right. Do you know how many linesmen will get clotheslined? <laughs> hey, it would be mad in it. Bro, man yeah, will get dropped. They're you know that, innit? Oh, oh my God. It would be crazy. <laughs> man up. Boop. What do you mean he's on side, blood? You know? It would like, never you, happen. Bro, in like, did, like, did, you, like, did you see the VAR machine get mash up yeah, in Brazil? Crazy, nah, Brazil? I didn't see that. So yeah. the fans literally came on the pitch and ran and like broke up the whole thing, bro. <laughs> Smashed bro. it. They were throwing the TVs. They were absolutely wrecked is, it. is America getting to that point with the passion of like the way it is in South America and the and Europe? Is is Because when I went to the new NYCFCM game... God, you had that section, my brother. Yeah. Uh, Dubes is in that he, section. He He's one of the main guys in that there. section. Took me yeah. up over there. And it's awesome. You lot get atmosphere going, bro. You understand? I'm not even gonna say it because you was. I'm not even gonna say it because you're here and yeah. you're an NYC Drums. FC guy. Yeah. I've been to Red Bull Stadium and it was a better atmosphere at thing. Yankee Stadium was even more full than Red Bull Stadium. Like. Yeah. And Red Bull's actually like a in a it's a, in a football stadium. That's football, like in yeah. a yeah. in, in, in a, a baseball stadium. Yeah. But is is the passion side coming over? Yeah, for sure. Um, like we we have really passionate fans. Um, you know, we we want them to come to every game. So whenever they come out, you know, they they definitely help us. They're our twelfth man. So yeah, for sure. Yeah. And also, NYC have um, you lot do a lot of work in the community. Yeah. And um, how many pitches was it? I think 50 or something It was something 50 like that. pitches in the five boroughs, in it, over yeah, the past yeah. five years. Yeah, and I think there's like 13 um, being unveiled like on Wednesday or something like that. Yeah, yeah. that was, that. you see? Yeah, so that was the Wednesday, the Wednesday ting, thing, blood. Not yeah, the, yeah. Not the, that, not the you game. see? <laughs> I knew that there was something going down on Wednesday as well, blood. Uh, yeah. Do you understand? So the unveiling is going down on Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're always trying to give back to the community. Uh, I think we're all very excited for that and... Anything we can do to give back, um, give thanks. So uh, yeah. I mean, fifty mini pictures in five years is is pretty that's serious, good, bro. bro. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. That's pretty. That's something to be proud of. Yeah, man. I mean, I think all all of us players and staff are are very proud of that. Um, we're just excited to see um, how it develops over the next years. Especially with with how quickly the game is growing amongst amongst the young kids, it's probably the fastest fastest growing game amongst like. For sure. Yeah, yeah. You guys helping out with putting out pitches for them to play is awesome. For sure. Yeah. It's incredible. Really nah, man. Yeah. So you get me. That that is that that is really good, blood. We support everything like that. You understand? Like I'm, I'm all for giving the doing that for the kids, blood, because we never had that. We don't have that. Like even in London now, they don't go around and put pitches out there to give people an initiative to go and play. Yeah. To keep them. Cause you get me. If you rather go on the pitch than go on the block, blood. Yeah. You understand? Like th there's yeah. more money to make on the football pitch than on the block. Yeah. You get me. So well, this yeah. this initiative is a really good initiative, blood, and and more power to you, lot, blood. Yeah. Yeah, you understand? It. Yeah, thank you. But can we appreciate. Go, can go ask on. him something completely off topic, just yeah. to, just to lighten up. What, what kind of music you listen to? Your favorite artist, right? Or artist right now? I mean, yeah. Favorite artist? I don't know. Like Burner Boy, Wizkid. Oh, there you go. Oh, you're Drake. on the Afro beats, my man. Like, you, I always <laughs> like. What about you the UK? Kids. I always um, like you kids. But Carl, you've been I out there for long. Bro, I know. So. I listened. I used to listen to a lot, but not. I, I'm not really like up to date with the music mm. now. But like, I gonna put you on Dave and all that, man. Yeah, you know about Abra. Nah, new, new M Honcho. Nah, M Honcho, I know M Honcho. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother, he's a gooner as well, bro. <laughs> yeah. You understand? He yeah, he's yeah, a gooner, yeah, bro. Yeah. Dave's a Dave's United. Stop listening to him. Yeah, you get me. He's cool <laughs> peoples, but less of that blood. You get <laughs> Chipmunk and Amanda, you need to listen to. Blood. Chipmunk, Arsenal. Born blood, them and this. He's got his own box blood. Then I don't even know that. Yeah. You still making music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like so if yeah. somebody if somebody draws him out, he'll drop a quick 
you know the, the dubs in it. Yeah, <laughs> the dubs are still running, fam. Trust me, bro. Like, you yeah. get me? When I first moved out there, he was he was big. He, he was, was like he was the guy. Yep. Yeah, he was king of grand. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. He yeah he took the he took the crown from Wiley yeah. still. Now, nah, but big up yourself, bro. Thank you. Understand? You understand? We appreciate thank you coming you. on. Yeah, Special. thanks for having if, me. If man. you have anything going on as well, let the people them know as well. Like if, if we never touch on anything, pause. Let the people them know. <laughs> nah, just just come out support on Sunday. Um, not just Sunday, also in the playoff games coming up. Hopefully yeah, we'll we be there as well. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully we have a home game. Um, just yeah, like yeah, come out support and we'll we'll hopefully win for you guys. There it is. There it is, people. Stay blessed, bro. <laughs> thank wow. you. Thank you. Yeah, man, but shout out to Gideon. Shout out to Gideon for coming on. As I said, man, I love Gids. I, I, I you proper thought I was going to run up Bellerin, innit, when I was like, <laughs> and I asked, <laughs> like, and I, and I, I asked stop proper, <laughs> like, I asked proper questions, like, Zar started laughing, bro. I'm like, bro, why are you laughing, like? I'm, I'm like, actually asking him serious. <laughs> you thought you're going to bun him up now, blood, like. <laughs> Gideon, you understand? Boy. Nah, Bellerin yeah, survives this podcast episode, didn't it? It's, was, it's, it? It might be back to business come flipping Monday. Because he was saying they were teammates. So I was like, ah, troops, troops, don't do it, troops, don't yeah. do it. <laughs> Just let this one, let this one live. Mm. But yeah, nah. Nah, but I talked the truth, like I said, bro. As a as a young, when he first yeah. came in, he was dynamite. Yeah, no, he was. The injury, that him knee up. injury, that knee injury really did ruin. And when he turned him. vegan, that too. Go <laughs> yam some meat, blood. You understand? Yeah. I'm Pause. Not, I'm not even gonna get into what I think about that diet but anyway on to the premier league review uh, sorry preview so premier league's back we had midweek off we play watford we play watford this weekend he's come dressed as one the pussy look at him <laughs> the hornets <laughs> he looks Your looking like a bee. hornet so you ever uh, seen a bold bumblebee watford what a bumblebee with a beard <laughs> beard, bumblebee with a beard blood well, shout the beard gang out there. just comes around done there it is. So Watford, <laughs> Watford's coming to the Emirates. Yeah. Emirates on Sunday. I am nervous about this game. Nervous for what? Red, yeah, red. I'm always nervous. Yeah, I'm I, mad. I don't know why. But anyway, just real quick, we haven't lost in eight games. I shouldn't be nervous because we haven't lost in eight games. That's what I'm saying. What's wrong with this guy? Our last three games were, were wins. Come on. In the Premier we... League, you know, we, we've only lost one in the one. Uh, we've, we've only. We haven't lost since City. Yeah, there we go. You understand? That was beginning, way beginning of the season. Yeah, and then one draw, the, the Palace draws. And what are the draws? It, was it Brighton? Palace and Palace Brighton. and Brighton. And that's it. Yeah, yeah. But we've been doing we've been doing well. And also, we Four we do, clean sheets for Rams, though. We do very well against Watford. We haven't lost... Uh, Last time they beat us was when I went on AFTV for the first time. FA Cup. There you go. We nah, 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 nah. They beat us after that still. They beat us... Um, Wengers... No, our Champions League... Last season, they beat us two. So that's seventeen one. Yeah, they beat us two one. Yeah, yeah. That's what seventeen eighteen. Sixteen seventeen. Sixteen seventeen. There we go. But yeah, so they, yeah. Their last win was twenty seventeen. I shouldn't. Uh, I shouldn't be nervous. But anyway, how do you feel about this game, bro? Nervous, which bum buckler? There's not even no Dini effect, blood. Do you understand? This was the Dini derby. That was because of tight. You get me when he come with his Kahona talk, blood. Now he's gone to Brumtown. No, go he's doing his thing with the <laughs> he's doing his thing with the Zulus, brother. You get me? Big up my brother JK and their man there, you know. You understand? But yeah, man, pure confidence, blood. I don't really give a shit if they went up to Everton and won. Um, pure confidence, blood. You understand that performance against Leicester City? Fabulous, blood. Last 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 home performance, fabulous, blood. Nothing but confidence going into this game, blood. Our, players that we want firing are firing we got the fucking best english keeper absolutely so you get me defense is looking solid Partey is looking like Partey, but my blood clark young is back again he's also done the most presses for any arsenal player this season so when i went on AFTV and i said that this man has been working off his socks and raised his game. And a couple of them in the comments were chatting shit. I think it's because they're jealous that man has a relationship with the Young Paul's blood. Because I taught the truth, blood. Do you understand? And then the facts have backed up what I've been preaching, blood. You get me? So, I expect Young to score this weekend. You understand? Backflip settings. You're done now already. I'm ready, blood. Even it's, it's Sunday. So, i got to wait for it. I gotta take my time with it. I gotta wait the whole weekend. <laughs> you get me? Nine AM. First watch along back. Back in the studio. In the studio. I don't know if we'll be in Jersey or Probably we'll be, be here. Jersey, I think. 
So, so Josh angry. is taking his ass on the path. He just... Can we get a shot on Josh <laughs> and just show his reaction? Zoom in. His face zoom in on sure. that motherfucker because we can zoom in now. We've got a new mic, blood. Zoom in on that, blood. He going to be taking his ass on the path, blood. Are we telling him come Jersey, blood? Now, look, blood. You come in Jersey. You understand? <laughs> 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 you feel me? But then, Iwa Guan, you're taking yourself over later that day to do the podcast, mate. You understand? And we're also going to... um. Yeah, see, so you understand? Me, I laugh on both your pussy holes. But here we are, go on. We're fun. also going to the NYC FC game. There it is. Oh, it's their last shout game on Zella, Sunday. Uh, if anyone can get to the Yankee Stadium and support the NYC FC man, them, make sure you're there. BX settings, you know what I'm saying? Mm. We're going to be there again. I've got, I've, got, I've got to put this out from now. Whole team's going to be there. I've, I've 3 30 kickoff. Now, yeah. Lissy, my missus, I know you're watching this. The permission slip must be signed that day. <laughs> there you there go. It there it's it work is. related. And it's close to Dykeman. You're good, bro. It's right there, man. Baby, right you can fucking walk, my nigga. Uptown, you can even baby. get one of them city bikes. Yeah, but you know me. I'm lazy, fam. I'll Uber to my shop if I could. Yeah, this guy's mad lazy, bro. <laughs> mad lazy, blood. That's why it's kind of like me. Bro, you two. That's why you two sit down over there so as a pair. I'm the drizzly, drizzly the beard to my to but my crib guy. Yeah, but why are you nervous? There's no reason to I be nervous. I man. don't know, bro, because I feel like this one is very going into that Liverpool game, and this, it's before the international break. Th- that's we, it. We, we we understand. We need to go into the international break with a win, especially with Liverpool coming out right after that international game. We need this three points so bad, and just because of that. That's driving me. That's that, that's making me super super nervous. I mean, I should be confident because again, Watford hasn't beaten us in the last five times that we played, and you know we 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 beat him last season both times, kind of deal. So I should I should be confident, but it's the pressure of those three points before that uh, before that uh, international break that is that is very very key and is has me has me shaky, man. Who has do you me. think deserves a uh, call up? Uh, uh, in the England squad. In, in our squad or the England one? England. Oh, England. I mean, I, I tweeted out immediately after I saw that. It's a joke that Ben White, the one the one that is the biggest joke that he isn't in out of our out of our two players. So I'm only concerned about our players, our two players. The one that's a the Saka and Ramsdale joke. are in. Saka and Ramsdale are in, yes. But the one Sancho's out. Why, we'll why, talk why, why would he be in? We'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? You he can't even play for Ole, but we'll touch on United. Yeah. <laughs> but for us, I mean, the Ben White, Ben White has been. Out of the English defenders, he's playing better than Harry Maguire. He's playing better than, wait, who else is in there? Tyrone Mings. What about For, Trevor? Form-wise. I mean, what, what oh, yeah, about, he's, what he's about Trevor? No, no, hold on. I defend my players. You can defend yes, your players when it comes the, to Chelsea. Let's get that in. And yes, yeah? I'm with you. I'm with yeah? you on that one too. I'm with you on, 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 on Chalaba. Chalaba needed a shout and all. But yeah, no, the, the, he was robbed. And, and of course, Emil smith Rowe too was, was robbed. But uh, lineup wise, do you want me to go first uh, for the for the Watford game, or or do you want to go first, Troops? You go first. All righty. So in Gates, I'm gonna keep it pretty much the same. In Gates, uh, Ramsdale, the guy has been. I mean, he's he's been the the the, the, the shining light this season for us. The guy that changed our our defense uh, completely. Tomiyasu on the right, the two center backs. I'll keep him as Ben White and uh, and uh, Gabriel. Left back Noon Tavish. As left back, I'm not too sure if Tierney is going to be fit. I haven't seen any Tierney news yet. I went looking and there's, there hasn't been an official word on that. But uh, in central midfield, I'll keep it as as Sambi and Pate. The three, the 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 two out wide, I'll go Smith Rowe and Saka, and then Aubameyang up front with Lacazette in the ten. Same team. It's the one that's been doing bits. So let's just keep it going and get three points with them again. Rams doing goal. Tommy, Ben, Gabs, Davaj, Partey, Sambi, Saka, Laka, Emil, about my blood clot, young. Yeah, I'd so pick the it, same as well. Itself. I'd pick itself now. That's the team that's before. Don't me. let me hang it. There it is. Whoops. Boom. Let me take a sip. I say we win. Big up Pink Whitney, but fuck Chelsea and fuck <laughs> Ryan Whitney. <laughs> Big up the Pink Whitney, but I say I'll we win. I'll introduce you to that pussy, or don't worry. I s- <laughs> Ryan, Whitney. Whitney. Ryan Whitney. He's the Pink Whitney man, them. So they do the hockey podcast. Chelsea. Is, is it Chelsea fan? Chelsea. You yeah, pick Chelsea yeah, yeah, yeah. to piss me off. All right, listen. He a makes, bit like that makes bitch good gas right. who loves to run his mouth, but now that bitch ain't in the office, blood. <laughs> do you <laughs> understand? Busy hanging out on the beach in they're Miami. Not, hey, troops, they're not around no more. 
Do you understand? <laughs> they're not around no more. <laughs> them and they run their mouth when I'm out of town, but now I'm back in America. They're not around no more. <laughs> they don't run their mouth no more. They get flights to Miami and hide away and piss in Dave's pool. <laughs> you absolute scumbag. If Fuck that was me, I would have no. dashed you in the pool, I would have suplexed you in the pool. The big man thing, I'm choking you. I'm, I'm, I'm making you drink your own piss. Yeah. Big man thing. Yeah. Keep your bitch ass out of my city. Yeah. Shout out Melo. I'm the king of New York, baby. Yeah. Holla at your boy. But. 2 0 for me. We keep a clean sheet. 3 0. Keep a clean it sheet. It might even be 4. That me, I said. Ambition. Hey. Murder, she wrote. <laughs> I know this little girl, her name is Maxie. <laughs> her sweet is like a bunch of rolls. I never, I never tell you about Maxie. Look at his data settings, cuz. How about my blood clot? Yeah. You can't do that to Ranieri. Murder, she wrote. Respect Ranieri. Dilly dang, dilly dong, you're dead. Murder, she wrote. Yeah, Watch, Mitten. Auntie Mr. Gap. Mitten's on you. I shot it. I don't know how I should actually. You know, what Lord of mercy. Let's just knock out Mr. Gallus over here. I was gonna do the bigger game after us, but let's knock out Goonies one. Burnley comes to Stamford Bridge. Now, what's your prediction for Saturday. Arsenal game? Actually, oh, sorry, your prediction for for Frog game. Two 0 Arsenal. Nil. We win. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. So on to yours, Burnley. Burnley comes to you guys. You guys are top of the league, as you keep reminding us every. My like cornet. And all that, but yeah, bringing I, that I would be worried. I would be worried about Bernie. You see the goal Chris Wood scored last weekend. Oi, oi, Maxwell Cornet. Hey, they're warming up for you, man. You are you lot all right, fam? I told you, you, you I like, imagine they punch up both. Played, imagine cause. they punch up both West London man in the space of two weeks. They pepper up Brentford and then they come pepper you lot. Bro? And they peppered you before at your ground, bro. Yeah, they ain't peppered this Chelsea with ten games and three goals conceded, my friend. Yeah, but yeah? they might come listen, in, my friend. Listen, t- listen Cornet. I don't care who Chris Woods, whatever your name is, cause you're not getting past Chris that. Wood. Pause. Yeah? You're, gonna Listen, you're gonna learn his name. You're gonna learn his name on hear Saturday. Hear what I'm saying to you, yeah. And I've said this. I don't know how many times in the previous podcast, yeah. All I Another care day. about is clean shirts. Nah, it's not even that one. 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 We should yeah? put out a fucking t-shirt, blood. All What's I care it? about is clean shirts. my life. <laughs> it's bring on Burnley at the bridge. Another clean sheets, another three points. On to next week, fam. That's what I'm saying. Yeah? Still staying top of the table at the end of this week, blood. And there's a couple interesting fixtures I'm going to let Zah get into. Hey, you like that before, chop? Before hey, hey, he's, he's been teaching me that Ric Flair chop. Yeah, Carl, yeah. You yeah, know about them <laughs> ones. You know about them ones. Boom! Boom, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, like, know where, like talking a RKO. With this guy and then he'll just bang. Randomly, <laughs> blood. Random. Who would, you, uh, who would you pick? Who would you start? Uh, it's, it's the best goalkeeper in the world in the gates. I don't even need to say his name. Everyone already. You're knows a that. real yank. How can you yeah. say gates? <laughs> in the ga- hey, because of him, it's his fault. Bro. Nah, nah blood. It's his fault. He's been saying it. He's been saying right. it. In Do between, you know what bad it is? In, in, when this podcast, sorry to interrupt. When this podcast drops, I've been here for a year. November fifth is when I moved out here. So this podcast drops on November fifth. I've been out here for a year, blood. I've been working a year with this motherfucker, and I don't say gates. Ramsdale and gates. <laughs> I've been here for yeah? seven. You get me? So I'm allowed to slip. Now, nah, but, but none of them man they say Gates, blood. Listen. It's only this brother here says it, Gates. Because that's a Zimbabwe thing. Yep, Africa. It's not even a Yankee hey, thing. It's an Africa thing. Hey, done, though. Hey, you saved me. So you gave me well, life. You never even knew you, you fraud. Like, it's too late. I kept my life. You gave the assist. Man. How are you going to get angry about your own assist? You gave the assist, not me. There you go. But the best goalkeeper in the world. All right, world, you got me. In between I don't know about that, blood. In between the sticks. I have to question that. Best keeper in the world. Yes, is Edouard Mendy. Are we forgetting about Noya? Can I can I finish my lineup? Yeah, no please? black. Yeah, can, can I finish my lineup? Por favor, silver plate. What play. that? Please. Me not speak them thing there, you know, dog. Hey, you need big to up the, big up the French man, them. But me not understand when they matter. You need to get your Spanish. The only right, thing me understand. Oh, I swear you said civil play that was French. And then I said por favor as well in Spanish. Oh, he said both. He's going back and watch training day again, my friend. Get that Spanish up, and then the defensive five. I don't know. Should I? Zar, are they defenders or strikers? Because which do I pick? So do I go with Reese James with the Techers at right wing back and that solid back three of... Uh, I mean, it's Burnley, so I understand that the physical presence is needed, but we have that in abundance. You're going to go back three for Burnley? Well, we always go back three. When do we not go back three? 
You know what I mean? That, that, that's the two cool way. So I'll go with this solid backline. I'd love to see you play a of, back four and keep a clean sheet. Of Rudiger, Thiago Silva, and I put Christiansen in there. And then on the other side, who do I pick? Goal scoring talent Alonso or goal scoring talent Ben Chilwell? We can throw either one. I'm going to go for Ben Chilwell because you can't take him off the form now. He's Turn on. off my volume. And then we've got to go in with the midfield pivot where we have a luxury of choices. One of them being N'Golo Kante, who is a uh, immediate name on that sheet. And then the next one to pair him, although Kovacic actually, I'm very sad he's injured, so it's going to have to be Jorginho. Not a bad of a choice. And then I'll go with my three of the captain of this country, Christian Pulisic, back again in the Chelsea lineup on that left. Yeah? With Kai Havertz on one side, uh, um, in the middle, and Callum Hudson Odoi on that right side. How does that sound? Uh, average score? It, it, sound, it sounds like a clean sheet. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It, it sounds like a clean sheet. That's score, what it sounds not, like. Not with Maxwell. The score, the score, okay. The score. Because I got my last two right. I have to think about this one very carefully. 3 0 Chelsea. Matt said very carefully, and then he said the score straight away. This Three bald this guy. This guy. What do you feel about this Chelsea, this Chelsea Burnley game? Uh, Chelsea will have enough. Yeah. I say 3 1 Chelsea. Why yeah. are you giving me the, what, the one for? He's trying yeah. to get on my nerves with this clean sheet, innit? You know we're not conceding. Nah, nah. Call nah, it scoring. He's, he's not scoring. He, I, I don't think you. Those guys uh, are moving see. crazy. Those guys are moving crazy. Yeah, against Chelsea. We're moving even crazier. Oh, see. You'll but, see. But on to the next. But on to the next one. The big one of the weekend. Game of the weekend is at Old Trafford this week. We got the Manchester Derby on Saturday. It's the first game on Saturday morning. So so 8.30 in Yankee Land. I believe that's midday. UK, I might do right? a stream. We're doing a watch along for that one? But it will be in it will be for Zuby Zoom over, settings. Over the, 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 the what's it called? Over yeah, I'll yeah, be, it'll I'll be, be Zoom home. settings, blood. I'll be home. We could, we could, we could do that. But yeah, you know, it's just if Jetski wants to go out on Friday night, because you know <laughs> Josh wants to. <laughs> yeah, so no, it's I'm, like who's gonna run the stream, blood? I'm out. Of, I'm out of commission. I'm out of commission this weekend, so I'm. I'll be. I'll be up very early. But uh, you, uh, the Manchester Derby, fellas, how we doing? How we feeling about that one? Another slapping. <clears throat> you understand? Realistically, you know, City lost their last Premier League game. They need a win. You understand? You saw the way Pep was talking in his press conference when they try to say, oh, you're disrespecting the Manchester Derby by saying that Club Brugge was the biggest game. And he said, for those who think I was taking the piece, I'm not taking the piece. The most important game is Club Brugge. Now we finish this game, the biggest game ever. <laughs> you know the way Pep talks? Ever. <laughs> the biggest game ever is the Manchester Derby. So you maybe you think I'm taking the piss, I'm chatting shit. I'm not. This is what I believe. Manchester Derby is now the biggest game ever. So if he's talking like that, yeah, he has them prepared to lay the smack down on their Manchester Red asses, blood. Pause. You understand? United are going to another spliff. Yeah? Win, draw, loss. That's their form. Win, draw, loss. Win, draw, loss. It might be loss, loss. Win, draw, loss. Win, win, win. Draw, draw, draw. Win, lose. You get me? It's up and down like a yo-yo. There's no consistency there, bro. With big. that team, it's unbelievable. Varane's out. That's what I was about to you mention. Understand? Big injury midweek. That fucking fridge. <laughs> the fridge. Oh, God. He's, he's fucked, you know, bro. He's in trouble, blood. Do you understand? Like, what goal was it? There was one goal, yeah, that was scored and the whole Man United back line, I think it was the Atlanta game, the whole Man United back line was holding their line perfectly well. Excuse me, Maguire was the reason why that goal happened because he was standing further back than the line. So it broke the shape. Oh, so it played the guy onside. This man cost £80 million. I'm not letting him forget. £80 million, pound, blood. Yeah, this guy has literally, if we break it down and talk real about this Maguire guy, take the banter out, let's talk honestly, yeah? All he's had in his career, yeah, is a good uh, World Cup and a good Euro. For club, he's been shit. Yeah. He ain't been, yeah. like, are you crazy? You think United have recouped the 80 million? Who the fuck no. buys Maguire shirts? He 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 plays he plays. The well only way England. the only way they'll recoup the money is if they if is if they win the Champions League, they win the Premier League. Harry Maguire, it's not happening with him. 
he's Do you understand? that caliber of player. You need a Ferguson to have him playing at a level. Like remember when he had Phil Jones moving a bit mad. Yeah. Chris yeah, Smalling, bro, moving. John O'Shea and them. Man Chris there, Smalling yeah? moving like a bit. You understand? He had Wes Brown. He had Wes Brown. Nah, Wes Brown was a Messi. Ba- nah, Wes Brown was a bad. Bro, master. but that you got to admit. For that me, he was a bad you man. See that 2008 game yeah, where yeah, Scolzi scored O'Shea, that yeah, goal. Yeah, yeah. That's the best game Wes Brown has ever had in a Man United shirt. He cleaned the fuck up that game. But like. Yeah, man, I fear for I fear for Man United. I I fear for them, blood. I, I think this could be another five, four, four, five. You get me? Because the thing with City is that Jesus, you think City will give him five goals, bro? Bro, like, bro, I'm telling you, like, bro, I'm telling you, Tottenham are shit. Yeah, we all expected them to go to Tottenham and win. Atalanta, we know they would. We knew they wouldn't go there and win. It's literally Squid Game where Ronaldo's just saving him. You get me? The quality of City, they'll score more than two goals. And they will not concede more than one goal. You get me? This could be another 6-1 City. With Ronaldo on the field, you can never say never, fam. Bro, you Liverpool got, went up there nah, it, it and moved mad. At some point. Yeah? You but forget, then, but then you, you forget, you forget, you forget what City did. You forget what City did to you lot when they came to your ground. And you're a better opponent than Man City, no, than 100%. Man United. You are a much better team than them. You have a better manager, you have better players. Do you understand? The only person that can probably walk into your team is Cristiano Ronaldo. You get me? He's probably the only one if we're being totally honest. You get me? But yeah, so with that, yeah. How the fuck you think they're going to go move with Man United? That's their biggest rival, bro. Now, see, you're Chelsea win. was just like a normal big game. This is a big game and a rivalry. City, 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 you get me? Yep. What colour is Manchester going to be, blood? Yep. It's going to be blue, fam. You understand? I agree. So temperature on Ollie, what, what what happens? Nothing. Does he... Because now he, that, was given, he was given the three games, right? Nah, but now them Nando-looking motherfuckers... Perry Perry looking half chicken piece of shits have Antonio Conte. Who can Man United go and get? They won't get Emery. You understand? There's no one out there that and Emery will not leave Villarreal. You get me? He just turned down Newcastle. Newcastle yeah, saying he loves you get Villarreal. Me? So, so what's the situation with Zidane? Zidane, Z- Z- I don't think Zidane will uh, go to Man United. I don't think he will go there, bro. I think Zidane, if he comes to England, he's going to a Chelsea or a Man City. I think it's them kind of clubs he'll go to. You understand? What's even with, even with Pogba there and Varane there. Pogba's not signing the deal, so he'll be like, fuck that. Yeah. You get me? What am I going there with? Fucking Fred and McTominay. Are you mad? <laughs> Are you mad? I had Casemiro, Modric and Cruz. How <laughs> dare you? Fred and McTominay. Am yeah, I a dickhead? Behave yourself, bro. You understand? When you say it that way. It's, it's, I'm being real with it, bro. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm trying to keep... I can't do it now. <laughs> I swear to... McFred, are you dumb? Are you dumb? <laughs> the fuck out of here, blah, blah, that shit, man. Yeah, I think... I, I honestly... I mean, as I've been crying on the internet, how many fucking times is Ronaldo going to save Ole? I think this is where it ends. This it's not going to He can't do it against... C- he can't do it. He's not going to do it. Like, against that, certain... No, but, no, against a certain caliber, Ronaldo bro, can't do it. Team. Because you know what it is? The the beating they get, it that it kills the whole team. You understand? When it's 2-1, they're still, still in the game. To play for. They're still... Mm-hmm. When it's 3-4 and they look at this Man City, Grealish, De Bruyne, yeah, heads drop, Foden, right, yeah. all these gunmen, fucking Gundogan, Bernardo Silva. Yeah, look at the bench. Look at the, the bench. You can go get Sterling. Bench, go get fucking... Sometimes De Bruyne is coming off the Do you understand? Bench. They've been putting De Bruyne on the bench. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, are you mad? Donny van der Beek and fucking... Sancho are there praying that but this guy know, gets I, sacked. Do you know what? Listen. They were praying. You know when it was 2-1, yeah? You know Donny when he come on? You know secretly he was like, sabotage. Sabotage. <laughs> sabotage. I'm not making his money equalise. If this pussy old goes, if this meerkat goes back to fucking Safari, I might play, blood. Facts. You understand? Yeah, I'm, te- I'm telling you, <laughs> fucking meerkat. Remember Oleg? About Oleg went to, went to Safari. Oleg went to Old Trafford. You understand? <laughs> are you That's fucking rough. mad? I got smoke for these pussy you know? Yeah, cause you might have bare talk. Varan. Champions League Varan. Winning the Premier. Ronaldo. Fucking Sancho. Sancho turned down Chelsea. Sancho turned down City. Sancho's had more trims than fucking starting than fucking starts, blood. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Do you understand? He's been to more festivals than he's had assists, blood. Yeah? Do you understand? 
Oi, don't play with me, blood. Yeah. Oh, man, you don't know. play with me, blood. I see how them pussy all started crying as well when I reversed the meme. So what oh, was it? What was your prediction there. for the game? He was saying four, 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 four one city. Yeah, I think four one city. I think the Ronaldo heroics end over here. Ah, four might be a bit too much. I'll probably, ah, you know what? Four isn't a lot <laughs> for city. Now that I, yeah, I like city. Four isn't a lot, and then you I'm forget who's at the wheel. That too. I'm thinking about <laughs> that. Varan out. It's gonna be ah yeah. That it, it could be easily four. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna go four nil. Bro, I'm, I'm gonna say United. Uh, United won't score. Bro, what do you, you mean? Got, Newport's you getting Edison. five big man. You have, you have Edison. Uh, you have you're Edison. saying you're saying that old chap. I know, but Edison again, though, that's what I'm saying. You again, have Edison and Gay. Why not? You have, uh, bro, that defense is pretty solid. You remember Tottenham getting them? What did Tottenham get them last year? Six one. Yeah. You yeah. see? What are you saying? Go ahead. I'm gonna go four two. What city? But it's yeah, but it's gonna be in a way where the the, the second goal ain't even gonna matter. I reckon Ronaldo will just get a consolation. On. So it'll be like four one. Late. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I reckon it, that's that's what we're looking at. United gonna get battered. Yeah. I reckon. Yeah, United fans aren't gonna be happy. I hope I'm wrong though. But happy about this, but uh, just gonna run through run through the rest of the games. You know, stop me if you got any comments or. Or whatever. We're going to get the scores from the fellas. Uh, Southampton kicks off the game week, actually, on Friday. Uh, so tomorrow, today. Today, uh, Southampton mm-hmm. kicks off the game week uh, this uh, this afternoon if you're in the States. This evening if you're in the UK or that part of the world. Uh, what, are we, what are we saying score-wise for that game? 3 o'clock if you're in Jamaica. There it is. The Yardies. Big up the Yardies. Big up every day. 4 p.m. Eastern. Um... The uh, central, central, central is three, three. three. then mountain, mountain two, is two. Pacific and then Pacific one. is one, and then obviously UK eight o'clock kick off. Yeah, Zimmy. But I'll go for Southampton. I am actually, you know what? Green Villa, I'm Villa been Villa. looking poor. I'm back in La Cobham Academy to strike again. Southampton. Well, uh, Livermore. Live from there. I'm, I'm, I'm with him. Sorry. Where next you? Bro, yeah. Yeah, that you. Fake Bojan. Ah. It's better. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> I'm, yeah? Gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bojan kind of flopped, if we will be honest. Yeah, he did. He was meant to be the next. He was Messi meant to be was Messi. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was meant to be Messi, boy. Uh, boy man ended pitch. up at fucking Stoke. Stoke. <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on a wet night. On a wet Monday night. You understand? <laughs> him, man, what's his he name? The, Rodriguez from Madrid. He was yeah. the tech. Remember Jesse? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesse, yeah. yeah. And then he went. P- were, did he go PSG after that? Or? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. I thought PSG was before. Nah, no, no, no. After Stoke first. Stoke, then PSG. Stoke, then PSG. But I remember Chupa Moting was at PS, yeah, was at Eric, Stoke uh, as well. Eric, what's his name? And then Ch- he went to Ch- PSG. Uh, too. He, uh, hey, big up Chupa Moting's agent. I hope you, you're you hearing me. Hire me. Blood. I, I've got no nah. knees left, but Moise give me a Keen's club. Moise Keane's agent as well, bro. Hey, these he's guys, been, what been, are they? Juventus, Milan, PSG, Milan. 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 Are you thinking yeah, the piss? Yeah, the man at Eaton. Everton. The toffees, mate. Yeah, trust me. The toffees, Paddy the body won't like that, mate. He's in the fucking city, lad. He's in the fucking city. Paddy, he was here earlier, He was in the office today, mate, but I had Sort out my phone screen. <laughs> so I couldn't meet the little chappy he mates, but... Are you saying he's lucky? He's fucking lucky, mate. He knew to come in when troops weren't in here, lad. <laughs> you know what I mean, lad? He fucking knew, mate. Yeah, no, you I know don't. what I mean? He's going to bring security on the 20th, mate. He's going to need nah, security. Nah, I'm going to bring... I'm bringing security, bro. I'm bringing the whole of Harlem, baby. You know what I'm saying? Nah, fuck that, bro. I'm coming. Me, X. That's enough. Me, X. Zah. Yeah, I'll step in there. He doesn't want this. Goonie. Daddy, you don't want this. You pulling up? Of course I am. Yeah, I got my squad. Every, Jet ski. Yeah. You ready, yeah? Yeah, you don't want this. He, he don't and want this, this. Is, this is actually... <laughs> just say yes, blood. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, see, Jesse, hey, but this is actually... That was Jesse, the was texting, sorry. Oh, the hey. message was texting. Big up Daniel every time. Do your calls, because you got you got to take it to the queen every time. Hey, but it's one of their ones, bruv. I, that day, we're actually on the same side. We're allies for 90 minutes Yeah, you want day. the win. Of course you do. Arsenal got to win that game. There we go. So we got Brentford, uh, Brentford, Nor- no, uh, Brentford Norwich. Brentford, man. Norwich ain't getting a win this year. Remember me, I said yeah. that? Remember I said that, yeah? The date is November the 5th, people, yeah? Brentford are not, sorry, Norwich are not getting a win. They're bro, Brentford's win. lost three in a row. Bro. Nah, but this yeah, is where they whoop that Norwich ass. Cuts. This is where they yeah, tap that this ass. This is the redemption. They're going to put know. Norwich all over. The f- they're going to they spread Norwich like butter Trust on bread. I don't know. I'm going to go Norwich. For this you guy. say what? Yeah, I'm going to go Norwich. All right, that's yo, you're still. Fl- Brentford, yo, you're fried. Bro. Brentford, Brentford's off form. This might be there. This is the only chance. This is Norwich's only chance. That hunger's turned to stupidity. I'm thinking of Oxtail. But I mean, they ice cream. 
the <laughs> Midweek troops, midweek. Okay, my body, okay. my body is my temple during okay. the week. <laughs> during the week, my body is my temple. Okay, <laughs> but no, I mean the Brent, Brentford's in bad form. Norwich has to win one at least. So nah, uh, man, I'm going Brentford. This is where they get back to form. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Brentford are winning that game. If they fucking lose, their manager be, should be sacked off the back of losing to Norwich. Norwich are that fucking bad. You just can't. I can't see. Can you even see where they're getting a win from? Like I said, they're not getting a win this year. Nowhere, bro. They're not getting a win this season. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's tough. This might be the first team that don't get a win. Uh, Palace Wolves. Palace. <sighs> yeah, I'm going Palace. I'm going Palace. Especially after yeah, that. I'm going to run with Palace I'm still. Forget they slap yeah. up City. Yeah, yeah I'm going to run with Palace. Palace. Zara, yeah. That, 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 that fucking Salah's part is going to be rocking. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah no, Salah's looking good. I'm going Palace for this one. Uh, then the last game of the day, of, of Saturday, that is uh, Brighton-Newcastle. Brighton. Can't see past Graham Potter. Cannot see past that. I'm going Newcastle. You what? Newcastle away. Ooh, I'm they, even, they still got their interim manager. Yeah, I know. But they looked. They looked. They they, they still ain't getting the point. But they've looked better. All right. I'm gonna go draw for that one. I think that one will be a draw for me. Then on to Sunday's games. Uh, we talked about ours. Everton Spurs. <laughs> this is a, good, a good game. game. Actually, yeah, Sunday yeah, Sunday bruv. is a good day, bro. Sunday has good. Games. Everton need to bounce back. And so do Spurs. That's what makes it interesting, yeah. And Spurs got Conte. Mm-hmm. Spurs, Everton have first, had um, first game. It's Everton have had three. Tactician, though. Everton have had three defeats in a row, blood. They lost to West Ham one 0 at home. They lost at home again to Watford five two, and then they lost last weekend to Wolves two one, blood. Is Everton it? need this win, blood. They've been looking sa- shaky, blood. Rafa went in there. Rafa had them playing well, blood. You understand? I was looking at Everton. I was like, yo, these men are going to be up there for like Europa League and them thing there. You get me? But I don't know, man. Is it too early for for Conte's effect to be felt? Because it's probably what? He's he's only he's only two training sessions. I mean, today, Eric Dyer looks shit as he normally does. Harry Kane got a goal. Sun got a goal. Oh, yeah, sorry. Three twos. Mora got a goal. Um, Yeah, but Vitesse had So there will. Yeah, but, but. Tottenham had ten men as well. Yeah. Two, two, two red cards. Mm-hmm. But um, I just think I'm going Everton. Goonie. That's a tough. That that is a. You see Conte when Conte looked at the fixtures when he saw Vitesse as his first game. He thought, yeah, good. Home game, get the fans on side. Do you know? Do you know why I'm going Everton? But that for a first game in the Premier League. Test. Everton away Test. and Everton and he doesn't have a good yeah. memory at Everton either yeah. because they slapped us when yeah. we played them yep and Everton need a win bro you understand need a win blood to bounce back to winning ways I'm going Everton blood Good. yeah it's got to be Everton I think going Everton too I think it's too early for, for the Conte effect to be felt uh, for, uh, for for Spurs and the wounded animal the wounded animal uh, logic pretty much uh, right on to Leeds Leicester Leicester. I don't know about that, mate. We just killed Leicester. They're going to bounce Leicester back. Too, no. They'll bounce back. They ain't going to stay like this for the rest of the season. I see them bouncing back. Leeds beat Norwich know. last weekend. Everyone beats fucking Norwich. That's what I mean. Leeds are at home, though. Leeds is a difficult Rafinha, place to go. Rafinha I'm going draw. Rodrigo, Rafinha, Rodrigo I'm going draw. Good. This has got draw good. written all over it. I'm going to back. You know what? Two, two losses in a row for Leicester. I'm going to go Leeds. I'm going Leicester. Yeah. Uh, I'm going Rodrigo, Leicester. Rodrigo and Rafinha. I'm going Leicester for one. Games, yeah. I'll say three one Leicester to be honest with you. And then to to wrap up the weekend, another very good game. The I might I one. might do a watch along for this blood. This another the very big bro. Good there's game. some shit going this, down. This weekend, this weekend has some great games. Because I'm at the crib and I got my Wi-Fi, bro. I'll just go live on my what on my fucking laptop, blood. This 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 but this man thing. If Jetski sleep, I'm just like. No background. It's just me, blood. Old school settings, bro. You understand? Old school troops TV. The real ones know about that one, blood. You understand? We, we no just, graphics, we rude just boy. Go. <laughs> yeah, we, we just, just ro- go, we just blood. Raw dog you it. get me? We just raw, raw dog it. Shout out, Frank, <laughs> blood, man. Raw dog it, blood. Bear about settings. The first one we ever did here, you just turned. Actually, we raw dog. Yeah, you just raw dog. You just went off the Actually, laptop webcam. A little, no a mic, little behind no the, a little behind the scenes story, but just to just to uh, just to add on to that, it was the first time troops was here, and no one, no one really knew. No one except I mean, except for me and then Mikey knew knew any well Jetski too because he had met him too. Any anything about troops, so no one wanted to help us. They didn't want to clear any studio space or whatever. So we're just like, all right, fuck it, give us a TV. We sat by the round rundown couches, 
whatever flipped open the thing they saw thousands and thousands of viewers in there all of a sudden we're getting pampered the next one <laughs> now we run this shit baby yeah yeah <laughs> West they know about us now, blood. When we're like, yo, back again. Hey, yeah, how are you guys? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> West Ham Liverpool. Very, this is very a big game. game. Very good game. West Ham had a difficult game. We need in the win. Europa League two two. A way to a way at Genk. Um, Said Ben Rama getting both goals. West Ham played a pretty. Strong team out there as well, blood. I think Moyes is taking it seriously. He brought off a couple man. He brought off Antonio. But Rice played. Ben Rama played. Antonio played. Couple, like a few man. It was like a mix and match thing. You get me? They had like Sue checking that on the bench. Pablo Fornals, Bowen. All of them came on. Zuma rested. Fabianski rested. But oh, West Ham been doing well, blood. You understand? That's the thing. They're getting three points. But, um... United yeah. went there and won, didn't it? Remember the last minute penalty hey. save from the he- um, from De Gea when mm. Noble missed it. They were lucky, mm. very lucky. West Ham played them. They they played a good game. Two one, two one, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll go Liverpool, <sighs> but Liverpool is just. I'll go West. I'll go West Ham, especially because they drew against uh, Brighton. Mm-hmm. They need a win, you understand? And just like City, they don't want you to go too clear. Mm-hmm. You understand? I'm Even though it's early, you don't want to go going into the Christmas fixtures. You want a um, points differential of about three, four points. So, I'm, I'll go with Liverpool. I'm honestly... Nah, you know what? I'm not going to say West Ham. I reckon they're going to share spoils and Chelsea go five points clear this weekend. I'm leaning... I'm leaning towards a draw on this one, but Liverpool is just a good side, man. I need... We need Liverpool to win because of our situation. We're chasing West Ham uh, for, for, uh, for, for, for our European spot. They also struggled away to Brentford, cuz. Who, Liverpool? Yeah. Yeah, but Brentford's an unknown... Um, but West, ten, but what's the unknown entity? Un- unknown yeah. element. But we, uh, can, no. we can say with it's chest. Unknown en- Even bo- bo- uh, both work. Yeah, unknown entity. But, but we can say with Whereas chest. West Ham, they know what's coming. West Ham, they know what's going to come at them. Right. We, we can Antonio, say with chest that West Ham Jared are better. Jared Bowen. Huh? We can say with chest West Ham are better than Brentford. Yeah, of course. This would be more of a difficult test, but Liverpool, this, this, this is a test that they know how to deal with. Facts. It's true. Do you understand? It's true. It's true. That's Brentford, why I'm not going for the win. Brentford, like I said, they're an unknown entity. I like that. Look at that big word there, blood pause. Don't <laughs> fuck with me, blood. Don't fuck with me. Yeah, I think I think Liverpool should have enough to to do it. I'm going two two. But that's that's the Premier League fixtures done. Just to wrap up here, I want to talk. I know we 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 touched a little bit with, during the Arsenal segment. The England squad, uh, the England squad came out for. Uh, the international break uh, versus Albania and San Marino. It's you know not really too shouldn't be complicated games. You guys should should uh, should cruise through those. But how do you how do you feel about the the squad? Let the people them know who's in the squad. In the squad, uh, the goalkeepers, the three goalkeepers are Sam Johnston, Jordan Pickford, and Aaron Ramsdale. I think Ramsdale is the one that should be number one out of those three. Mm-hmm. But that's that's just me over there. I'm you not, agree, Goonie? Hundred percent. I'm not. Uh, I'm like not Garrett that. Southgate. The defenders are Trent Alexandra Arnold, Ben Chilwell, Connor Cody, Reese James, Harry Maguire, Tyrone Mings, Luke Shaw, John Fucking Stones, John, and Kyle Walker. A lot of these defenders that were picked are guys that, yes, have been in previous squads, but if so, it's Ben White. Why ain't he been picked? If you're going for, if you're going off merit, where's Trevor? Th- there's about three and or four of these guys. Said. These Southgate are, said that he picks players on form. There's, so there's three or four that are off form right here. You get me. Mings I'm, has been poor. I'm looking at John Stones. John been Stones all isn't over even the starting. Place. Maguire, uh, uh, Stones been on the bench. It's like Laporte and Laporte and Diaz. Are exactly. The ones that are so I don't understand your logic there, Southgate, mate. You understand? Keep twerking for these man anyway, innit? You understand? Like I said, all you have is the World Cup. You have the World Cup, bro. Then I want you out like an ounce. Midfield: Jude Bellingham, Jordan Henderson, Mason Mount. Calvin Phillips. Oh, Jude's Kevin made it Rice. this time. Yes, sir. Get him That's back. a good decision, at least. Oh, what do you mean? Last time he tried to drop, you didn't pick him last time. No, I'm just saying, at least he included him. He fucking had to. Yeah, so true. Deckers and uh, Declan Rice and, and James Ward Prowse made it in. Okay. Ward Prowse is in? Yeah. Yep. James Ward Prowse is in, and then the attackers, Tammy Abraham in Italy over there. Let's go. Phil Foden, Jack Grealish, uh, Harry Kane, Why? Marcus Radford. Marcus Rashford, Bukayo Saka, and Raheem Sterling. Kane's only been picked because he's captain. 
Uh, it's, it's bruv to me it's, it's it's a marketing thing as well you can't uh, that's a that's a decision that smells like an fa decision yep. to me a lot of those it a lot smells of those like a lot of those people yeah it's the fa that said you got to play yeah them. yeah yeah man united made a call you better pick harry yep a, a lot of the a lot of the jerseys Joking. in wembley yeah. are harry kane number 10 so i mean you can't you can't really drop him but yeah, I mean, I you heard my beef. The defenders. I'm disappointed beef. that Ben White's not in there. Ben I White, get why. Ben White should have gone. I get why a Mills not in Chalabar, there. Gallagher nah, as well. I, I I'm pissed off, man. Nah, these men are young, so oh, I kind of get it. You can argue. I forgot about Conor. But Black. if you look at the form of these players, though, because yeah, it's like Gallagher. you said, Actually, if you're Conor Gallagher. Yeah, yeah. Smith Conor Gallagher, Smithrow, Gallagher. He sh- Smith Rowe should have been Conor, in there. Conor Gallagher, I think, might even have a bigger case than Emil Smith Rowe. He does, if I be honest. Yeah, if we're being completely honest, he is. He's the. Because this is Holy his first shit, season. The more I think of it, he he might be the biggest. He might be the biggest snub. That's the first name I recognize. That's the first name no, I was Sancho. like, what? Yeah, that too. That I mean, that's, but he that's, shouldn't be there. That he is, shouldn't actually be there. Yeah, but if you're not picking, if so, so why is Kane been picked? If you're dropping Sancho, are they not on the same form? Facts. It's Kane's only been picked because he's Harry Kane. Yeah, and we don't wanna, we don't wanna hurt Harry Kane, do we? Don't no. wanna hurt his feelings. No, can't can't say nothing wrong about Kane, no, can we? Not at all. Fuck him. Yeah? Fuck him. Golden Prick. boy in my ass. He's done out here. Get him out. Bring the next striker in. Flip it now. And I think I think we just put the bow and wrap it up right there, right there. Shout out to our people behind the scenes. Josh, Jetski, Troops. That lets us do this. Goonie, myself. Thank you to everybody that listens. That's episode 101 of Back Again. Make sure you tune into the live stream against Watford. We might do one tomorrow. Against Man United, the United Man City one. Just look out for look out on the socials for that for more information if, uh, if we're going to confirm doing that. But definitely Sunday we're doing our game, and we might do the Liverpool West Ham one. So look out for that too. But that's back again, episode one hundred and one. As always, as Troop signed off, as he used to sign off, I'm going to keep signing off that way. Everybody, make sure that you stay safe and you wash your goddamn hands.